All right, so uh, this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well a Cancer Rising. Weekly tarot reading, February uh, general one. Weekly general tarot reading, February uh, 17th to February 23rd, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can have a look at uh, have a look at the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can uh, purchase such and after that upon 24 hours I'm going to contact you for the details how the reading is to proceed so with that being said moving into the cancer reading here now the first card which stands as the topic of your uh, week here the very theme of it is going to be the Queen of Swords Followed by the next one, which represents the energies which are feeding up the situation itself. That will be the Page of Cups here. Followed by the third card, which represents the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week. That is to be the Page of Wands. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the Hangman. Then what we have here, it is uh, how people are going to take on you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into people around. That will be the Two of Swords. And the last card that we do have for you, Cancer, in terms of a guidance for the week, uh, that will be the Five of Swords here. So those, um, those five cards. Okay. All right. So the very first two that we are going to have a look at, uh, so as the topic, not as the topic, excuse me, but as the um, energies which are feeding up the topic here, we do have uh, the uh, Page of Cups. And what the Page of Cups symbolizes as energies, it is that the energies throughout the week are going to force you, let's say, or make you start doing things that you are finding emotionally satisfied for yourself because the page is always this particular page it is always emotionally connected with whatever the page is doing meaning that those energies are going to push you to um, interact more with people you like with people you love to do things that you love to do things that you like as well and to express your how can i say it i uh, an emotional satisfaction toward the results that your enterprises are going to bear now that itself is going to make you see things more into perspective rather than to be concerned about the immediate results of one or another situation, either into career or either into relationship. And by seeing more into perspective, on a, um, seeing things how they are to unfold into the distant future are going to make you uh, with the page uh, here as an energy uh, to rethink what kind of positions you are taking in terms of career and in terms of relationships as well, in the sense of that, is it worth being in that job any longer? Is it worth being with that person? Or is it worth not going for that job? Or is it worth not going for that person? You know, so it's kind of like you may expect that throughout the week, to kind of like take a different standpoint in term of uh, in term of life endeavors and in generally toward a things and enterprises that you are finding very say lucrative, productive, and as well uh, emotionally satisfiable. Now that is because with this standpoint and those energies, you are going to start provoking a change that is going to start that that is going to embark into your life. But with the Page of Cups as energies, that change is going to come a further into the future. It's not going to happen overnight. So you can take that this week is going to be more like a preparation for it to happen. And that leads us to the topic itself, uh, the very theme of it. And that is you, Cancer, in the week. Um, Queen of uh, Swords. Well, uh, as Queen of Swords, you are going to show a strong emancipation toward everything that is going on around you. And you are going to draw as well from the poignant experience from the past, which is going to have a lot to do with the energies. Now, remember, the energies are going to put you or gonna, going to push you into doing things that you like most over others. Regardless, are those things something you are supposed to do? All right. 
and by drawing from the poignant experience from the past from the bad experience it is like recognizing that if you don't do something for your own good something for your own happiness no one else is gonna do it so okay and being fed by that determination you most definitely gonna be able to push those happy things through all right just to to, to make them happen and uh, for that reason people around may see you a bit uh selfish all right people around you may see you a bit cold as well toward them but only those that are not worth your attention remember you're going to emotionally connect only with those and with this that you are find worth worth your while in terms of emotional connection and that is going to take a participation into the change that you are to establish in your life moving forward into the future and that leads us to the uh, next one which is the challenges you have to overcome here that is a person that we do have page of wands and that is someone quite discontent about your um new standpoint i would say it that way that is uh, someone who does not want to believe that they don't have or that they may not have a, a part of uh, of your life moving forward into the future that is now why well the page of wands they are those kind of people that things that the world revolves around them okay they want to be always the center of the company the center of the universe they want to be always the uh, most important person into uh, into career unfoldment like everything happened because of them and not with them well while the page of uh, wands looks very strong from outside and very disconcerned with what is going on because it kind of like tries to prove itself to be as strong as hell and that nothing can actually kind of like mess with him around uh there are these people who are very fragile from within and now seeing that they are losing a grip upon the control not exactly the control but let's say the participation they had into your life it kind of makes them freak out a little bit and uh, the worst for that is that seeing uh, this that this page is going to see that uh, you know their say immature proposition or, in, or immature uh, vision for the future totally mismatch with yours mm -hmm. and as it mismatches with yours obviously they do not have a place in your uh in your future so you can expect here throughout the week to liberate yourself uh from a person as well that it kind of like just messes around with your environment and it, it's someone that is extremely unreliable and that is something with the page of wands it is uh, the page of wands cannot be controlled because they simply do not listen the next one it is the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week we do have the hangman and that i believe relates more about your concerns of how your future is to unfold either career-wise or either relationship-wise and uh with that particular case the hangman uh gives you a couple of gifts and blessings now the first one it is that you do have time all right you don't have to rush anything around right now as a matter of fact right now it is where you have to make your self assessment here uh, and to uh, identify how you want to proceed forward with your life either career wise or either relationship wise and what is that makes you happy what is that makes you emotionally connected with the world and what you can do in order to make it happen and the second gift and, gift, gift and blessing here for you from the hangman it is that uh, many of you of these concerns once you adopt a very calm and peaceful standpoint here and very resigned standpoint if you will are going to start resolving themselves on their own accord because that is the best property of the hangman you know the problems are vanishing one after another and only thing that you have to do is just wait for it to happen and that is a big gift and a blessing uh, now, the next one, uh, guys, that we do have for you, Cancer, is going to be how people are going to take on, uh, on you, how people are going to see you. And this card gives us a, a, a hint, if you will, that you are going to take a full advantage of the gifts and the blessings. 
because people are gonna see you like stalking a prey, okay? Like waiting the murky waters to become crystal clear. Like for example, instead of making a harsh and very premature rush decisions, you instead prefer to wait enough so the uh, right choice for you to become obvious by the process of eliminations. Now, if I have to give you an example, say you do have two people of interest and you can't decide which one you have to go for here, okay? People are gonna see you as someone who is waiting long enough, uh, long enough excuse me, um, until one of these people kind of loses interest and as they lose interest, the other one, it is the obvious right choice because they were patient enough to wait for you around, meaning that, for example, their love is true. But also people are going to see you very smart. I don't know if we can say about that, that it is smart, but whatever you are to face certain situation throughout this week, you will be able to see it from every point of view. And that makes making wrong decisions or wrong actions here highly, highly uh, unlikely, especially when you have to tackle with other people around because you will constantly be able to um, hold everything on a precious equilibrium, if you will, so you're not going to get into severe conflicts with someone, but simultaneously you're not going to uh, wave uh, waver from their intimidation, let's say. It's like that's very um, expressed coldness or kind of like a, a coldness accompanied with calmness, coldness accompanied with calmness that one presents like, you know, they will do what they have to and whatever has to happen is going to happen. And the last one that we do have for you, Cancer, it is the uh, guidance that Tara is offering. That is the Five of Swords, guys. And there is only one way how we can uh, look at that card in this particular uh, position. It is that you got to do what you got to do to make yourself happy. Because the Five of Swords, it is about um, personal achievements and it is about a personal breakthrough. It is about a, uh, um, how can I say it, a, a personal win, right? So you got to win. What happens with anybody else? Well, that's unfortunately here is not your concern. And with the Five of Swords, the only thing here as a guidance, the only thing that can deprive you of being happy in this week, it is if you concern yourself more with the happiness of others than your personal happiness. Because once again, I want to remind you that, that if you do not care, or if you do not take care for your own personal happiness, no one else will go into. That's the sad truth. So that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly general tarot reading, February 17th to February 23rd, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around, I hope. Until then, bye.